in this video, we're going to share some examples and show you some tips on how to experiment with your own solar panel. Here's a couple angles and some of the materials that you'll be working with. Before we officially get started, there's two quick things. Number one, peel a little film off the solar panel. And also, unscrew the back end of the flashlight and take that little piece of film out too. Now it's time for step number one, which is to find a spot for our solar panel. We can clear everything off except the little solar panel and some glue dots. Go ahead and peel a few of those off, bundle them up together, and put them on the bottom of your panel. Then stick it in the corner somewhere like shown. We're pausing real quick to show you that the bottom of the panel has a positive and a negative end. The positive is the red wire, the negative is the black. As you all know, we like to have some fun and be creative here at Styx. This next part is our attempt to make some cool looking power lines. We're going to grab our foam cubes and glue them down to the base, and you can even reinforce them with some extra glue over on the sides. Then go ahead and grab your dowels and poke a hole going straight up and down. Pull it back out, put a little bit of glue in there, and then stick your dowel back in. If it's not exactly straight up, you can always hold it straight until the glue dries. Do that twice, one for each of the foam cubes, and this is where we should be at right now. And now it's time to get out our alligator clip wires, and friends, each group is entitled to two of them, and the color does not matter. First, we're going to clip one end of each of them to the very end little piece of wire that's sticking out of the solar panel. Make sure that it's only touching metal, because if it's clamping onto the rubber part of the wire, it's not gonna work. When we do have that end connected, it's time to get out our trusty glue dots again. Grab two or three of them, bundle them up, and place them towards the top of our power lines. Do the same thing on both of those poles, and that gives us a temporary solution where we can stick our wires up there to simulate those power lines. We're showing you this clip because we want to make sure that as your project progresses, you have plenty of slack on the other end of those wires, so when you do connect your LED to it, you can move it as far as possible. But once you're feeling good and looking good, you can go for a more permanent solution and you can hot glue those wires to the poles if you'd like. And this is where we're at right now, friends. If you do use the same color wires, make sure you can keep tabs on which one is connected to the positive and the negative end of the solar panel. And we say that because remember, the LED we're using also has positive and negative sides to it. The shorter end coming out of the light is the negative diode and the longer one is the positive diode. So go ahead and connect those like so, the negative side to the negative side, and the positive side to the positive side. And if you did this right, friends, you should see your light start to glow right away, simply from the light that's going around in the room. And to cap this project off, we give you a little bit of material to make a structure, like a house or a building, that you can actually light up using the power from the solar panel. In this video, we're just going to share kind of a basic example, but we like to cut this paper in half, fold it into fours, which then lets it fold it into a nice little cube that you can glue down. Just so it can keep its form, we get a little bit of tape out and tape those last couple walls together. And before officially gluing it down to the base, we cut out a little bit of a hole or a window in it that we can place those wires and that LED inside. The idea is since it's nice and dark inside of that structure, you can see the light really shine as bright as possible. Feel free to rewind to this picture and pause at any time just to see what all of the different components should be looking like. And finally, no matter what your structure looks like, whether it's the basic cube, you make a circle, or you build an elaborate house, find a way to glue it or tape it on down to the base. Then go ahead and stick the LED in wherever you made the little spot for it. If you remember way back to the beginning of the video, we put some glue dots underneath the solar panel. That's so we can move it around and change it if you ever want. If you'd like to pick it back up and put it on the roof of your new house, feel free to have some fun with it. And remember the flashlight? Here's a little bit of a teaser for what we'll be sharing with you in the next video where we test out the project.